In this lesson, we are going to talk about the strict null checks feature of the TypeScript compiler. So, how does this feature work? Well, in our programs, it would be great to have a way to clearly identify which variables can be nullable from the variables that are not supposed to have a null value. For example, let's say that this course ID variable is expected to always contain a number. There are no valid cases where this variable could be null. This is a mandatory variable that always has to have assigned to it a valid number in order for our program to work correctly. However, as we can see here, even if we assign this variable the null value, we still don't get here a TypeScript compiler error. And this is because all types are by default nullable. So when we define a variable as a number, this means that the value of the variable can either be a valid number or null or even undefined. So that would work as well and it would not cause any TypeScript compiler error. This feature of the compiler to consider that all variables are nullable by default and that they can all be assigned either null or undefined independently of the type of the variable. This is on by default for backwards compatibility with previous versions of TypeScript and also this is the way that most people will expect a program to work. But now in recent TypeScript versions we have a better way of doing this. So what we have is the ability to write our program in a way that if we define a variable as a number, then we cannot assign it the value null. We can only assign it a valid number. If we want to make this variable nullable, then we need to add here a union type like we have seen before and we need to say that this can either be a number or null explicitly. And only in that case would this assignment be valid. Let's then see how can we configure our compiler to enable this strict null checking mode. So we are going to head over to the terminal and we are going to compile our program. But instead of not adding here any extra compiler flags, we are going to now add here the strict null checks compiler flag. Let's see what we get as an output. So as we can see, we have here this error message type null is not assignable to type number in this code line here. So with strict null checks, only way that we can assign this null value here to this variable is if we make the variable nullable explicitly here in our program. So if we add a type that says that this can either be a number or a null value, then in that case, if we compile our program again, this time around we are not going to get any error. As you can see, the strict null checks feature of the compiler is super useful. If we combine it here with union types, we can clearly define in our program which variables are nullable and which variables are not, and get useful compiler errors thanks to that. So if you are starting a new project from scratch, I recommend considering using this very powerful feature from the beginning.